A housing boom in Rock County and a new duck blind for the Madison Mallards. We'll have the details up next. Your real estate news starts now. Thank you for watching your real estate news. I'm Stacey Hansen. Let's take a look at your headlines. The Rock County real estate market is experiencing a housing boom, according to the Gazette Extra. Home sales over the last three months have jumped by 20% over that same period last year. 745 homes sold in Rock County from April through June of this year. The Gazette also reports that the average sale price jumped from $129,000 in the second quarter of 2015 to over $151,000 in the second quarter of this year. In June, the average price shot up even higher to $162,000. The Gazette reports that this is a $65,000 climb over the average price during the market's rock bottom years of 2011 and 2012. The number of new foreclosures are also dropping in Rock County. The foreclosure rate in the county has dropped by 17% since last year. The Madison Mallards are overhauling their Great Dane duck blind after this season, according to BallparkDigest.com. The duck blind will stand for the Mallards' remaining home games in 2016 before being demolished to make way for a new structure. The new duck blind will be built in time for the 2017 season and will retain the Great Dane duck blind name. The current structure holds over 1,200 fans. The duck blind debuted in 2001 and by 2003 it was consistently selling out. It was one of the first venues in sports to offer a large selection of bottomless craft beer and all-you-can-eat food. Fans had an opportunity to win a party for 20 people in the new structure for opening day in 2017. Those who purchased a Great Dane duck blind ticket to one of the final four Mallards home games were automatically entered to win, according to the Digest. Scented candles are commonly used to make a home seem more inviting, but both Women's Day and the Daily Mail have recently published study results linking scented candles to major health risks, including lung damage and birth defects. According to the Daily Mail, scented aerosols, gels, and plug-ins are among an array of hazardous substances which can cause lung tumors, asthma, and even interfere with hormones. The study suggests that pregnant women be especially cautious as the effect on hormones can interfere with babies' hormonal development. The Daily Mail reports that even simple evaporation from it, candles un unlit can release harmful pollutants into the air. Don't go away, we've got more real estate news right after this. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Kirsten Goggin with Century 21. Welcome back, Kirsten. Good to see you again. Hello, hello. So last time you talked about your free service. Now this is called Market Snapshot. Yep. Owners and buyers are getting um, reports of listings, sold information. This is all emailed to them. Yep. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a free service you can uh, sign up for and it you can check the frequency of how often you want it. You can get it every week. You can get it every two weeks, every four weeks, quarterly, really it's up to you once a year. But it's kind of nice um, if you're a homeowner, you're just kind of curious what's going on in your neighborhood, uh, which all, I think all of us are. When we see a for sale sign go up down the street, we're kind of curious, oh, what do they list for? Because it gauges, kind of gives you an idea what your property is worth. Um, this would, if, if you get it you know, monthly, it will just give you a summary of everything that's currently listed and things that have sold. Um, as well as a ton of other information. So it's customizable, it's totally up to you as uh, the subscriber, and if you don't find it useful, you can always unsubscribe at any time as well. And what are the walkability ratings that I see mentioned? Yep, so there's, you can just have the like last month or week or years, quarters, um, sold homes, and what's currently listed. But in addition to that, it also gives you uh, a, a walkability score, which lets you know how easy is it to, what's close by, how easy is it to get around without a car. There's also a community and school report, so you can get the ratings of the school districts and just kind of what's around. So you can get a bigger picture of uh, what's going on in the, in the area and what, um, on the buy side, obviously you'd want to know that. If you live there, you probably already kind of know that. But it's good to know in terms of marketability for your property. Now, what other information can you get on this report? Because there's a, quite a bit on there. There is. So in addition to the walkability report, the school community information, you can also sign up for listing alerts. Um, and that will give you real time as soon as something is listed or sold in your neighborhood. 
it will email you automatically. So it's kind of its own thing, so you don't want to inundate your inbox with tons of emails. Um, you know, if you say you only want it once a month, you're just getting that one report. But if you are really into it and you're thinking of maybe listing soon, if so you want a better handle on it, it'll let you know in real time. And this is mobile friendly, correct? Absolutely. So any type of smartphone or tablet, you're going to get the same reports and you can customize everything right if you want to make a change. Um, go right in there. It, it's very, very uh, user friendly. And we're almost out of time, but quickly, how do people sign up? Go to kjsellsmadison.com and click on um, Market Snapshot. Great. Well, thanks so much, Kirsten. Thank you. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. My next guest is Becky Anderson with Trace to On the Water. Welcome back, Becky. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Stacy. And you? Uh, great. Now, I hear that business is going pretty well for you over there at Trace to. Your one bedrooms are selling out. Is that right? They are. We only have one left right now and probably two renewals, two that didn't renew for the next month. And so they've been really popular and really they're, they're, they're just great, great one-person apartments. That's that's great news for you guys. Now, you also have furnished long-term places available too, correct? Yes, we just did that. We added a one-bedroom, a two-bedroom, and a three-bedroom furnished, which can be rented on a long-term basis. They run um, 2000 3000 and three, uh, 3250 comes fully a fur furnished a silverware, ironing board, get that. And um, we, we're full right now, but they will be coming available again on September 1st. That's great that you've got everything down to the last detail, even the silverware. Now you also have a short-term suite too, if someone's not looking to stay really long-term. Yes, that's on the fourth floor. There's a patio terrace attached to it. It's a three bedroom, three bath. It sleeps six comfortably, eight uncomfortably. <laughs> and um, it's uh, f also fully furnished. And we do have a two night minimum on that. And it's a steal at 250 a night. Well, that is great. Now, do you also offer then, I saw here, um, short terms for the two bedrooms and the three bedrooms too, in addition to the suite? Yes, that's a special promotion that we're doing right now. We have uh, a number of uh, threes and twos, so we will do short term for the regular rent, no up upcharge on the rent, which are twenty two hundred and twenty five hundred for uh, short term. And you get a lot of great stuff with that. And one of the cool new features that you have there at Trista is an electric car charger. Yes, it's sitting out out there with this big white cabinet around it and I've, we've uh, had people using it. We, um, you know, that's a wave of the future, of course, and but we're ready for it. We do have one in the underground garage for the tenants if they want to use it. I don't think at this point, we might have one electric car um, that the residents have. But as you said, that could just keep, uh, the numbers could keep growing on that. Well, thanks so much. It was good to see you again, Becky. And remember everyone out there, for Trista on the Water, their motto is love where you live and you definitely will there. Thanks so much, Becky. Thank you. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Bill Quigley, Branch Manager of AmeriFirst Home Mortgage. Welcome back, Bill. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Now, we hear there's a lot of movement in the financial markets. What's going on with mortgage interest rates right now? Well, I'm sure everybody's heard the phrase Brexit, which is Britain leading the European Union. It's caused a lot of turmoil in the financial markets overseas as well as here in the U.S. What's happening is investors worldwide are flooding money into the United States economy in treasury bills and mortgage-backed securities. The more that investors buy those mortgage-backed securities, their yield will decrease. As that yield decreases when the price goes up, our interest rates decrease. So with the Brexit or Britain leaving the European Union, interest rates did fall. Interest rates are going to be low for some time for those that want to purchase a home, refinance a home, renovate your home. We're going to have great rates for some time going forward. That's great news that it actually ended up with, with low rates for us. Now, home buyers who have had a past bankruptcy or foreclosure are asking when can they purchase a home again? What can you do for them? 
There's a large group of people out there that during the recession had a bankruptcy or foreclosure. They're now re-entering the marketplace. They're called boomerangers. They've had homes before, they lost them or want to purchase a home, but due to the bankruptcy, they can't. So these boomerang buyers are coming back into the marketplace and they're asking, hey, things look good, can I get a mortgage to purchase a home? Many institutions can't finance them because they want longer seasoning on that financial issue or that credit issue before they allow people to get mortgages. We can help people that have had a bankruptcy or foreclosure in the past get a new mortgage to purchase or refinance within two years of that bankruptcy and foreclosure, and in some cases within a year, depending upon the circumstances. So if you're in that position where you had that credit issue, don't hesitate, give me a call, let's get you into a home. Well, that's great news. It could be potentially even within a year. That's wonderful. Yes. Now, what can you provide those that want to just purchase a lot and build a new home? We've been getting a lot of inquiries from people that they're frustrated with trying to find a home in the marketplace where inventory is a bit tight. And they thought, hey, what if I build a home? But if you build a home, you have to get a loan to buy the lot and then get a construction loan to pay off the lot loan and then build a home. Then when you're done with construction, you get a permanent loan to pay off the construction loan. So you theoretically could be financing two or three times to get your home done. You're also at the risk of where our interest rates going to be after that six to nine month to one year period of when you're done with construction. We're coming out with a construction loan where with one loan all in advance, you find your, lo your lot, you find your builder, get your budget in place. We provide one loan to buy the lot, build a home and you move in. You don't have to requalify. you don't have to refinance down the road, it's all done up front in advance so you build a home and move in and not worry about requalifying or having any appraisal issues down the road or interest rate issues. Well that's wonderful, it just really simplifies things. Well thanks so much Bill, great to see you again, lots of information as always. Great to be here, thank you. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Rob Grether with Lake Point Realty. Welcome back, Rob. How's your summer? My summer's great, Stacy. Thanks for having me. Um, it's been a busy summer. Uh, I think when I was here last time, I might have told you a little bit about some of the events, some of the things that Lake Point was going to be involved in, some community festivals, um, and we're into the middle of that season. Um, we've just finished a couple of uh, East Side festivals, which I did mention previously. The Lafette de Marquette went great. The family fet part of it, where it was a, a new addition with the bouncy houses and you know things like that. Great opportunity for kids and families to be out um, at the festival. Was sponsored by Lake Point, and we um, we had a great time there. Um, and then just recently had Atwood Fest, um, and then we've got Orton Park Fest coming up in a couple weeks here um, for for East Side stuff. Um, I've got some other things that you can see maybe if you look at a. Uh, I've got a schedule of things that is available on my website, or I think we have a graphic maybe somewhere that will be um, posted in the background here, uh, talking about some other things, but I can also uh, get people that if they'd like that and they wanted to request it from me. Yeah, and those, those especially with you there, are something people are not going to want to miss. They're a lot of fun. And you've been so busy in the community. How's your real estate side going? Real estate's been great. You know, I think everybody uh, in the business has been, you know, pretty happy with uh, how lively the market is. Uh, interest rates have stayed low enough that people are, are you know, able to stretch their dollar. Um, and you know, I think that things are slowing down a little bit, but in a good way. Um, buyers have some more opportunities because I think some people might have um, decided to wait till next year. Some first-time buyers, um, and I think that there's, you know, some great houses out there in. Um, you know, reasonably priced houses as well. Yeah, that is good news for buyers because we do hear that a lot on the show. Um, so now in the past, you've liked to mention current neighborhoods that you're working in and the ones that you're excited about. Um, where are you at now? Uh, the one that I, I, I really have been enjoying being um, into is the Bay Creek neighborhood. Uh, it's just south of the Monona Bay and it's you know really nice, pretty centrally located. A lot of you know great houses over there with character, with um, you know still reasonably priced. There's some amenities. The Goodman Pool is right there. Um, you know Lakeside Street has a little district of coffee shop and uh, bike shop. Uh, some other things. Woodland Montessori School, where my daughter Ivy goes, is located in that neighborhood. So. Um, my son Dashiell previously went there as well, so we've been a part of that, uh, that school for, for some time. We've had a great time with it. Um, and I think that the neighborhood's got a lot to offer, especially um, you know, with some new developments that are taking place 
and um, you know I can give people more information on the neighborhood, on what houses are available in that area, and you know some ideas of um, what I guess is coming up and will be happening there uh, soon. Well, sounds great, Rob. Well, thanks so much for stopping by again today. Always a pleasure to chat with you. Great, thanks for having me. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with John Hammer. He's the owner of Wall Fixer Uppers. Welcome, John. Good to have you here. So it has been a stormy summer. What kind of damage can people start seeing to their home in weather like this? Hi, Stacy. Thanks for having me on your show today. Typical da damage from storms would be damage to your roof, siding, gutters, insulation, and ceilings. These damage occur from hail, wind, and water. So it really can hit a lot of different places and we've certainly had a lot of hail and water. Now what about if you start to notice some yellowing in your ceiling from a big storm? Um, what does that mean? Is that really bad? Is that an easy fix? What's happening there? Yes, yellowing on your ceiling indicates water getting into your house. Oh, so that could definitely not be good. Are you looking at mold issues sometimes then if you're not dealing with that? Yes, yes you are. Yes, you want, probably want to hit that right away. Now, what should people do then if they're noticing this? If you notice any staining, you should call a professional to check the areas, to have the areas inspected. So would you typically just kind of do that, that area or do you kind of look around the whole house? Because you mentioned like I think gutters and all that too. Inspect uh, the ceiling, wherever you got water damage, inspect those areas and then follow up where the water travels through. Okay, now if people don't get to this right away, what could happen? We talked about mold a little bit. If not addressed, the moisture can create a breeding ground for mold, which we all know mold can be hazardous to your health. Yeah, exactly. And a, a lot of times, too, I think it's not covered by insurance, too, if you start getting a lot of mold in there. So you definitely want to avoid that. Um, so just to kind of ask you, you know, why would you say that people shouldn't try to do this themselves? Why they should maybe call a professional like yourself? The headaches, the liabilities, um, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't really want to get into it on your own. You're better off getting a professional that knows what they're doing and know what they're dealing with. So people could easily be making it worse if they're if they're not totally familiar with it, I take it, huh? Yes, that's correct, I see. Okay, so yeah, definitely want to get that checked out. Now, if people are seeing some of these things, how can they get a hold of you? They can contact me at 608-669-6336, or they can find me at wallfixeruppers.com. All right, well, thanks so much, John. So nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on the show. Likewise, thank you, Stacy. And welcome back to the Real Estate News. I'm now with Chris Thomas. He's the owner of Right on Target Real Estate. So Chris, we're hearing a lot from people about saying they're calling about listings and then they're finding out it's already got an accepted offer. Do you have any advice for buyers just to avoid that happening to them? Yeah, we actually, we started this system where when we're working with buyers, we try to find out kind of what's important to them and we kind of have them make a wish list and we set up a specialized MLS search so that every time new properties come on the market, it automatically emails them those listings. The nice thing about that is a lot of those apps out there that you see um, that are being advertised, they don't have up-to-date information on them. So what ends up happening is you call on a house that uh, you think is available and it's not. So our system actually gives you the most up-to-date information and it helps people from losing out on those houses that are really nice and they could get in there and find if they like them quicker. Now, do you feel that having an experienced agent like yourself to help people buy and sell a home really gives them a big advantage? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. Um, I believe that uh, it definitely helps uh, when you have somebody that's kind of been through the process a lot like myself. Uh, certainly the market's always changing. There's been times where it's been more of a buyer's market. There's been now times where it tends to be more of a seller's market. And we have to be able to advise them on how to go into a deal and kind of raise some certain expectations for them so they know what they need to expect. I mean, right now, there's a lot of times where you have to make really strong offers on houses, otherwise you'll lose out on them. So some agents are afraid to tell their clients that sort of stuff and it'll end up costing them big, you know, if they want a house and they lose it. 
That's so true, and it's definitely worth hearing if it's going to mean you're more likely to get your dream home. So how has your buyer system been working then in this seller's market? It's been great. Um, I think what happens is it saves people a lot of time because they're not driving around and looking for houses that aren't even available. Um, it certainly allows us to really weed out houses that don't match their criteria. Um, so that definitely helps. And then when they do find the house that they truly like, what ends up happening is uh, we could get on in there and look at it really quick so if they want to write an offer we can do that before other people get in the door. Yeah and it's definitely important to be fast about that. Now what other advice can you give home buyers to prepare them for this market? Well you know home buyers out there they really have to realize that uh, they can't really wait um, if they see a house and they think well I'm gonna wait three four days to give me a call to let me know if they want to see it. Um, they really have to get into these houses rel relatively quickly because they just don't last if they're nice houses and they're priced right especially. So I think that's the biggest thing. We also want to make sure that they're already pre-approved before we go out with them so that way if they do write an offer on a property their offer looks stronger because they actually have that pre-approval letter attached to their offer. Absolutely, and that way you can just hit the ground running. Well, thanks so much for stopping yeah, by. Thanks today. for having me. Special thanks to our guests for stopping by today and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. Be sure to join us again next week. I'm Stacey Hansen for The Real Estate News, making a positive impact and leading the real estate market.